Hi and welcome to another video update from the Fire Brigade Union once again on the vital issue of firefighter pensions. We're joined by the Union's General Secretary Matt Rack. Matt, we spoke only a couple of weeks ago on this issue and about a legal case that the Union was running in defence of firefighter pensions. However, it's not good news. Can you give us an update? Yes, Sam. So we, I mean, we've made clear we'll challenge this on in every way that, uh, that we can and uh, what we had was an employment tribunal case in central London. Uh, this is a series of test cases, so individual members against their employer and against uh, the, the, uh, the government as well. And uh, quite a lengthy case, quite a detailed case, and uh, unfortunately the outcome of that, uh, which took us a little bit by surprise, was that we didn't uh, win that employment tribunal case. I think uh, a little bit surprised because uh, I think those who've been following it closely will know that uh, in a similar case relating to judges' pensions, a much smaller uh, workforce, uh, almost identical arguments but some uh, differences, uh, their case was successful at, at uh, an em employment tribunal. So we are obviously very disappointed, uh, a little bit surprised as well. But if at all possible, you will be looking to, or the union will be looking to, what, to appeal this? Yeah, the Executive Council uh, met, uh, discussed this. We, we just got the news in uh, on the day of our last uh, meeting. We have agreed that uh, we will explore every avenue to appeal. Uh, and if we can appeal, we will do so. We've got a legal meeting set up uh, this coming Thursday with, with the legal team. Uh, by the way, the team, uh, many... Uh, some of the people involved have, uh, involved in both cases, so this isn't about personnel or anything, this is about uh, different judges can reaching different conclusions on similar arguments, it seems to me. Uh, so we've got a meeting on Thursday and we'll obviously inform members if we're able to pursue that appeal. Now, Matt, some of us who have been around for a while will remember the part-time workers case, which was a fundamental legal case run by the union, which we won, but of course we lost that and the first occasion too. Is that something we should bear in mind? I think people, yeah, definitely. I think people should uh, bear that in mind. Uh, we, we, we decided to fight for the rights of part-time workers, our retained uh, members. We went to an employment tribunal on that. That, wasn't, that was conditions of service and pensions. Uh, we lost that uh, on the first uh, hearing uh, and we appealed it. Uh, we went to various appeals, ended up in the House of Lords, in fact, uh, and we were ultimately successful. It took a long, and I think this is the point people need to bear in mind about the law, it took a long, long time to be successful. Uh, we, we saw that through, and in the end, uh, we were successful in that case. And I think we need to say to employers, the government, actually, it doesn't matter what happens. We are gonna, we're never going to give up the fight for justice for our members on their pensions. The, what the government has done to pensions is completely wrong. It's not based on any evidence. It's not based on understanding the Fire and Rescue Service. Uh, and we will continue to fight this in, in this forum, legally, and in every other forum that we can. Matt, thanks very much. For updates on this and indeed every other issue that we're facing, please go to our website. That's www.fbu.org.uk. Or for more immediate updates, you can follow us on Twitter. And that's simply at FBU National. Until next time, thanks very much, Matt. Thanks, Tom.